what we discussed. Um, we focused on gender in a very broad sense, uh, so not just men and women's issues, but also sexual orientation, gender identity, sex characteristics. Uh, from a perspective of human rights and therefore from a perspective of un universality. So uh, everyone should be entitled to, to equal opportunities to enjoy their human rights. We proposed a lecture on equality and non-discrimination uh, related to sexual orientation, gender identity and expression and sex characteristics issues. And the main message is that no one should be left behind, including people from different uh, or diverse sexual orientations and gender identities, and that everyone uh, uh, has human rights and in all aspects of life, whether it is healthcare, education, but also right to liberty, to security, right to privacy, um, the right to freedom of expression. And so we, we proposed like a broad exercise for human rights defenders coming from different paths of life to, to be able to engage on this issue. Equality is the starting point. And um, so I come from a background of, uh, of women's equality. And I think that we can't really achieve that if we would stick to first a binary understanding of sex, like male, female, because that makes everything very stereotypical. And because uh, as long as you, you, you treat people as, as basically different in the end, uh, you can't achieve equality. And human rights are for all. I don't think you should, th that the fact that you are born and labeled male or female should influence your opportunities in life. Human rights defenders may be specialized in one era, which is normal because human rights law is so uh, vast, but then vulnerable groups such as um, people of different sexual orientations or gender identities uh, should be included and should be invited, should be consulted, should deserve to have their voices heard um, as much as any other. Of course, the international situation has never been really stable, maybe from a European perspective, but not from a global perspective. But currently, it seems like in many places in the world, it's, it's getting even worse. I th I'm convinced that it's really important for people to continue uh, to talk together and to be aware of the possibilities and, and of different ways to look at similar situations. This, the, uh, courses like this, trainings like this, offer a great opportunity, I think, for participants to, um, to engage with each other and to, um, to learn from each other. So we ask them to, to also prepare like a, a human rights uh, protest and so people from different parts of the globe had to, to think together how, how that could be done. Well, we currently see um, anti-gender movement in every region of the world. And that is very worrying uh, with increasing human rights violations, hate speech, um, violence of all sorts uh, targeted against uh, LGBTQI plus people. We see bills being proposed in a number of countries to further criminalize this community uh, or restrict their freedoms. So in this context, this kind of course is very much important, um, not only to gain knowledge about those issues, which are not often talked about, but also to, to be able to connect and to crea create allyships between um, human rights defenders who have different uh, backgrounds and, and give them those opportunities to, to, to play their role as human rights defenders and make sure everybody is, uh, is taken into account. I think one of the things, but I, it's easy for me to talk coming from a, a very safe country, um, being in a very privileged position uh, as, as a native of the country and not a migrant or something. But I still would say that it's so important to try and be a bit, little bit less scared of what possible reactions might be 
if, if you try to stand up for human rights. But all the people in this training course know that much better than me. They, they are much more brave than me. Don't be afraid to engage on LGBTQI plus issues, even though you don't feel an expert or you don't understand the whole alphabet. <laughs> you can learn step by step. And the most important is human dignity, uh, equality and non-discrimination. And with those simple human rights principles, we can go um, very far. And as long as you consult people on the ground locally um, to better understand their realities and the kind of human rights violations they suffer, um, you can be an ally uh, in, in this fight for um, the rights of LGBTQI plus people.